Hey guys, this is Corey B, aka Bing Er. I'm gonna do part two today of my Voodoo Disc to Digital uh, video. I made uh, the first part a few months ago, and I've got a lot of hits on it. It seems like a lot of people really like it. Uh, this is the first video right here. Uh, I just talked about how to convert uh, using. Let me show you here. This app, this uh, Voodoo and Disk to Digital by scanning UPCs. Uh, this video actually got shut down once, uh, so hopefully it won't get shut down again. I had to argue that it was a valid video and I wasn't trying to scam the system. Um, I think what they're worried about was that people were just going to the video and scanning the UPCs and they didn't actually own the disk. Uh, there are many reasons why you'd want to pull the UPC up online and not scan the disk. Uh, the biggest reason that I use it for is because you don't have to scan a thousand movies from your library um, because not even 10% of them will work, probably only 2% of them will work. Uh, there's a very select few from my library that actually work, um, so I'm not going to sit there and scan every single one of them. I'm going to look at a list to see which ones work. Uh, the next reason you'd want to do that, for instance, the Star Trek collections that I bought, um, the next generation is four movies, and this one is six movies. When you try to convert these by putting them in your computer, uh, it does not work well at all. I own all six discs here. Um, but when you put them in to use the, the actual physical disk to digital program, um, it doesn't work. And I wasted probably like a half hour one day trying to get it to work. Um, and if you want to scan the UPCs, these boxes only have one UPC on them. So if you wanted to convert all six movies, which I actually do, but I'll do that in the next video, um, you can go online and pull up six UPCs and scan them, and it'll take you like a minute, and you're on your way. Two dollars a piece, you can convert them to your collection. This was my last video I did. Has a lot of hits and a lot of people asking questions like requesting movies. I believe Valley Girls was one of them that I could not find. Um, down there at the bottom of that video, and I'll put these links in the new video too, I've got a Google Docs spreadsheet and that lists all the disc to digital that supported all the movies. The second link here is the Slick Deals link. That's this one. This is a huge list. Um, and most of them work and sometimes they put alternate UPCs in there. So this is a really great list. The third link that I put in there is the barcode maker. You're going to need that barcode maker. You flip right over here, you post the UPC right here and you hit refresh and it'll make the barcode right here for you. And then you can use that app on your phone and hit continue scanning or hit scan UPC here. And then you just hold it up to that and scan it. And there you go, two bucks. Now the fourth link that I'm gonna include in this video is, let me go up to the top here, this Comic Cons website link. I was looking for a new updated list and this one really is nice. They explain the Voodoo Disk to Digital system here at the top and then they start listing codes. So I think I made it all the way through M picking out the titles that I own that I wanna to convert to Disk to Digital, but I'll just start right here. So let me see. Okay. And I will just go through these codes that I'm going to show you today that I'm going to check in. So I'm going to scan it. It'll ring telling you that uh, it's working, which it is right here. And then it should say, um, convert your title to HDX for $2. So I'm going to say, yes, this is Event Horizon. Fantastic sci-fi horror movie. I love it. Uh, and then I'm going to hit continue scanning. So I can scan the next one. Now, some things that might happen, it might say you already own this title. Um, this barcode is for Another Earth. Um, that's Britt Marlin. She was in that OA series on Netflix. Um, I really like her. She's a good actress. I think she writes and directs, too. The next code I have here is for... Oh. <clears throat> This is for the arrival, um, not the new arrival, although there is a code for that too. This is the, the older one from 1996. So what's the next code? The next code is Boogie Nights. Fantastic movie. I thought I already had this in my digital collection. I've owned the Blu-ray forever. Um, I was kind of shocked. I was surprised that I didn't own this one already. I love it. Uh, the next movie is The Box Trolls. Um, kind of a quirky little kids movie. I like to add a few kids movies here and there in case you need one to entertain some kids. Um, this one 
Was this animation or was it claymation? I can't remember. It was a pretty cool looking movie. Uh, the next code is Can't Hardly Wait. Fantastic 90s movie. I love it. Ensemble cast. It's a good one. The next movie is Clueless. Now, this is a classic. We bought this Blu-ray copy a while ago. I was surprised it didn't come with a digital code. I was kind of ticked off that it didn't. Uh, the next one is Crash, uh, Oscar winner from 2005, Sandra Bullock. That's a good one. I like it. The next one is Employee of the Month. Um, converting this because the girlfriend wanted to watch it at her house and the disc was over here. <clears throat> kind of a funny movie. She likes uh, Dax Shepard. The next movie we're going to register is Flatliners. Oh yeah, I wanted to watch this one again. Um, digital. I, I watched the new one again recently and I, I, don't know, I wanted to see the original, so there you go. The next one on the list is Friday. Oh, that's a funny movie. Classic. Bye, Felicia. The next one Gattaca. Who was just talking about this movie? Some show I was watching was talking about it. Fantastic Ethan Hawke movie. I love it. The next one is In Bruges. Very uh, clever, funny movie. The, the director did another movie recently. I can't remember who that was. I'll have to look it up later. The next movie is The Island with Ethan Hawke and Scarlett Johansson. 40% uh, on Rotten Tomatoes. I thought it had much better than that. I liked this movie. I was a big fan. Even though it was very Michael Bay. And the last movie tonight that I'm going to register and buy is... K-19, The Widowmaker, I love me a submarine movie. U-571 is my absolute favorite submarine movie ever, probably followed by Hunt for Red October, but this one's great, too. Um, all right, let me switch here. So, there you go. 15 movies, $2 a piece. Um, this will keep us entertained for a couple weeks for 30 bucks. It's fantastic. I'm going to check out... All right, guys, thanks so much for watching again today. This has been my second Voodoo, um, I don't know, Voodoo Disc to Digital Part 2. As you can see right up here, I'm up to 856 movies now. I think that's fantastic. All right, guys, thanks for watching today. See you later.